Hello everybody and welcome back to the MakerPipe Masterclass. This is the sixth episode of the series and it's really exciting because we're getting close to the end and you guys are have been following along this whole time. You've seen me plan a project, design a project, talk all about conduit and connectors. And in the previous episode, we built the main framework of this metal frame and I wanted to save and dedicate a full episode to what we're going to be talking about today which is kind of accessorizing and the hacks and different solutions that you're likely to run into uh, when building and we're actually going to have a full supplemental video that's just 10 of the most common problems and solutions for those problems that people have when building uh, but today I'm just going to kind of go through and use a few uh, that I needed for my specific workbench here and I'll you know highlight some different things as we have been doing along the way and just show you guys a few of the, the cool solutions that we're going to be incorporating into this. So first of all, underneath all of this awesome stuff I have here on the desk is this workbench. I mentioned this a couple episodes ago. I love using these project boards from Lowe's. I think they're uh, underrated. You can sand it and of course stain it and stuff. I usually just use them raw. That way, you know, you know, they can get messed up, whatever. I can just buy another one or sand it. They're super inexpensive. This one uh, is four foot, 24 inches. Um, and uh, I think it was like 20 bucks, something like that. So not too bad at all. <clears throat> so we're gonna be securing that to our framework, utilizing some of these accessories. This is a uh, conduit one hole strap, uh, which is really useful for this kind of thing. So we're gonna be securing those. We're gonna be adding some different things to the bottom of our verticals. I'm gonna have this workbench roll using the casters. Uh, we're gonna be securing some of this metal pegboard to the back of the frame. And, and I'm gonna show you guys how I decided to do that. And uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun and we're just gonna be adding some accessories. But the first thing we gotta do is actually uh, highlight something, definitely on purpose, I didn't make a mistake, uh, was the fact that I need to account for these legs that I want to incorporate. I was gonna use all four casters in the, uh, on the verticals, but instead I wanna use some of these adjustable feet with some of our threaded pipe inserts. Uh, so these are gonna go on the front, that way it kinda has that ability to stop and then I can just lift up the front slightly and slide and roll it around. Uh, but something I didn't account for whenever I was making my cut list is the uh, difference in height here. So obviously if the verticals are coming down and then I have this in the end of the vertical just like the insert, it's obviously going to slant way too much and I didn't account for that when planning. But that's no problem because we can use that uh, to highlight the fact that you can customize and you know, kind of fix things like that. It's really forgiving to uh, you know, do things when you're working on projects. And so I'm just gonna actually adjust these back legs. I'm just gonna loosen a couple of the connections, slide those up just a bit, and then call it a day. And then I'll be able to hammer, hammer those in and it won't be a problem. So uh, I'm gonna do that first and then we're gonna go through and add all these accessories. So now I've got both of those slid back and that will allow me to hammer these in. And these are just casters that we saw on the website and they have this 3D printed insert on them and they have these ribs that will peel off as they are inserted and this will do a good job of holding them in there. And these are rated for 150 pounds a piece. Uh, so it'll be perfect for this workbench and allow it to roll. It's got locks on it and these are, these are great for this kind of project. So I'm just gonna hammer these in. And just like that, I got the two wheels, super easy. So now what I'm gonna do on the front is what I was describing to you guys, which is using the threaded pipe inserts and these, uh, this solution that we talked about a while ago, this is just a, a replacement washer and dryer leg. You can get Ace Hardware, Do It Best, hardware stores. Uh, it's just a replacement leg that threads into your washer and dryer. But if you combine that with our threaded inserts, then you can put these in the conduit and you can create some adjustable legs that you can slide uh, or that you can adjust and thread in and move around. So I'm gonna put those on the front of my workbench. And now we have level and it'll be easier. I can just adjust these on both sides. You can see this floor that I'm on is uneven. Then this other one over here, it's off the ground a little bit. So add that and just rotate it till it's on the ground. So now I've got a level workbench that I can lift up in the front, roll around, and then put it in place. And I can also lock the casters as well. So that's pretty cool. So now I'm just going to put on the tabletop. I'm just gonna use that project board from Lowe's and those one hole straps. I'm just gonna flip this back again. Okay, so I've got my overhang on all sides. It's just easy because I have these back verticals in place. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a couple of one hole straps and secure this in place. And it's this here, and it's just made to snap on the conduit. And I'm using, I like to use these number 10 by half inch screws. I've talked about that on the channel before. Uh, they work really well for this kind of situation. 
All right, so now we've got all four of those on there. Like I said, those are super easy and work really well for attaching surfaces. But with that, we've got our casters on the back, our adjustable feet on the front, and this work board that is really secure there. As you can see, that's not gonna go anywhere. So next, we're gonna add the accessory that I'm most excited about, which are these metal pegboards that are not here yet, <laughs> but they're about to be. So you might remember I left these tall because I wasn't exactly sure where I wanted these to go, how far up. Uh, so I'm gonna uh, show you how I'm gonna attach these to the frame, then we're gonna put these back two bars and it's not gonna be too complicated. So what I've done already is attach these loosely and essentially I've chosen another really common strap, which is the conduit hanger strap. These here. And these are really inexpensive, just like the one hole straps. They essentially have a flat mounting surface. Let me show you a loose one here. They have this flat mounting surface with a pre-drilled hole in it. And then they have this part that clamps around the conduit. You, you just secure this nut here. It has uh, one of these carriage bolts in there that locks in place. You just need one tool to assemble it and it just squeezes around the conduit. So essentially what I'm doing is just using the pegboard holes and some of this hardware I got from Lowe's. And then I'm going to secure that through the hole of the hanger strap on the opposite side. And that's how I've secured these in place. So now we've got this secured nice and sturdy like that. So essentially I just need to figure out exactly where I want this to go at what height, because we can just slide this side in there. And then I'm just going to kind of hold that in place, raise this up. And because it's so loose, it allows me to move that around. I'm just going to tighten that. Looks level to me. Okay. So what I could do here is, you know, take this all off, try to get this perfect where it's flush with the end. What I think I want to do is actually have this extend up a little bit. Yes, it'll make it easier to cut now, but I think it'll also give me the flexibility to adjust this later on. So if I, you know, use this workbench for a little bit and then don't like the height that this is at, or if I you know, need to run some stuff behind underneath here, then I can easily adjust that. So I'm just going to leave uh, a little bit here. That means I can go ahead and put my other two connectors in place and actually secure this all on here. And then while this is all put together, I can just go back, shave off the top. So I'm going to do that. I've got some end caps here that I'm just going to push into the end. These are going to be a nice way to finish this off. And as you can see, I went ahead and accessorized everything, used some of the included clips. And here is the mini model, how we started with we planned a couple episodes ago. And then as you can see, we've got the finished workbench and everything looks awesome. And it all came together really well. Uh, you know, did some adjustments on the fly, but really planning everything out uh, with the measurements and everything really made it really easy. And hopefully you guys also think so and you guys are encouraged to build something of your own. The whole point of the series was for you guys to see the entire uh, you know, process of getting an idea, learning about conduit and connectors as a solution for that idea, planning it, building it, accessorizing it, and then having your completed project that you can use and be proud of. So hopefully you guys uh, are inspired to do that. If you have any questions, as always, you can leave those down below. There's still gonna be uh, a couple more episodes of the series. We're gonna do a separate video dedicated to 10 of the most common problems and the solutions for those, and uh, as well as some advanced tips with bending empty conduit and things like that. So still subscribe and make sure you're on the lookout for those. But for now, this is the end of the workbench and I think it's awesome and hope you guys like it and uh, got inspired from the series. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.